There are certain emotions that I'm devoid of. I don't know if they have any just complex ones that just like I've forgotten, but here's a bit on emotions. The emotion of missing somebody. Like when somebody says, I miss you, I don't have that. It's devoid. I don't, it just doesn't exist with me. Another one, uh, when people, see, I didn't even think of the next one yet. I, I thought of it when I was telling you about the first one that I forgot. Let me try again. People, when they say they miss you, I don't have that. It's devoid. I can't remember. Uh, guilt. Guilt is an emotional uh, disturbance to rationality. It's kind of like, okay, I learned, please, can I stop tormenting myself with this guilt? Because the th it's, it's, like, it's a circle. I realized that this guilt, like, it, like some regret, something I did to somebody when I was seven years old, maybe something I did to my dad when I was... 13 years old, just this, this momentary instant, which is entirely forgivable. It's so irrational to feel that guilt still at the age of 18. It's, it's, it's the self reminding the self not to do that again. And rationally, I've already learned that. It's just this emotional on top of it that annoys me. It's more than, it's, it's annoying that it feels so bad. Uh, yeah, another thing I don't get is shame. Shame I don't have, guilt I do. I, I'm devoid of shame, I think, pretty much entirely. But, uh, guilt, yeah. Uh, because the circle I was talking about, because it would be further irrational to apologize to somebody else about that guilt. Because they don't even remember what happened. You're only using your, that apology to satisfy yourself. In that case, why should you be guilty at all? Because they don't care. They don't even remember it. And maybe if I just reason that out to myself, and I realize that, and it makes it all, I think it's better. 